Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Now it's time for us to bring you the latest news from around the world. Our first story is from Brazil, where Brazilian authorities and indigenous groups continue the search for the British journalist and indigenous official in a remote area of the Amazon rainforest. The duo were last seen early on Sunday in the Sao Rafael community in the indigenous territory of the Javari Valley. Journalist Dom Phillips, who had been a regular contributor to the Guardian newspaper, and Bruno Arajao uh, Pereira, uh, an employee of the Brazilian Indigenous Affairs Re Agency, went missing while Phillips was researching a book about the Amazon. A Brazilian federal court issued an order on Wednesday telling the authorities to provide helicopters and more boats to cover more areas of search. Civil police in Amazonian state said they had identified a suspect who was arrested for allegedly carrying firearm without a permit, which is a common practice in the region. Now, on Thursday, the police found traces of blood at the suspect's boat and the material was sent to the capital of Manaus to be examined. <laughs> All right, guys, so this just came after, you know, we also lost someone uh, when missing, mm. uh, the Tetuan Kamil San. And we know that with each day passes, it's getting harder and harder or riskier yeah. to find them, you know, in an alive and healthy state, right? But what I would like to highlight here is the two individuals that are missing, actually, they're quite a high profile people. So the first one, Philip, which is a British journalist, 57 years old. He has reported from Brazil for more than a decade and has been working on a book about preservation of the Amazon with support from the Alicia Peterson Foundation, which gave him a year long fellowship for environment reporting that ran through January. Now, another one that's with him is Pereira, which is one of the Brazilian Indigenous Affairs Agency's most experienced employees operating in the Valley do Javari area. Mm -hmm. He oversaw the agency's regional office and the coordination of isolated indigenous groups before going on leave. And he has received a stream of threats from illegal fishermen and poachers and usually carries a gun. So it's, I think, with their being missing, there's a vast amount of knowledge that will be missed with them too, will be gone with them too, right? So yeah. uh, you, you have the latest uh, update about the surrounding area. Exactly. So you were talking about the Javari village. So just to get people into context about how big is Javari uh, Valley in this case, because the Javari is uh, one of the last true bastions of primal uh, wilderness in the Amazon and also in the world. Uh, lying along Brazil's Amazon border with Peru, the Javari Valley um, Indigenous Reservation is the country's second largest at 85,000 square kilometers, or um, if it's in miles, probably around 33,000 mm -hmm. 33, um, square miles, nearly as big as Portugal. So mm -hmm. um, this is not really beneficial for the people uh, in the search because mm -hmm. uh, like what you were saying earlier about uh, the, the late Ritwan Kamil's son, it was it was actually in a tourism area mm. so you know where to look which which spots to actually intercept uh, to to find the body but with this thing is like nearly as big as mm. portugal Correct. you won't know and it's in the forest right and it's not just the vast space of land that they're looking for but it, it's wild mm -hmm. it's mm. lawless it mm. has lured cocaine smuggling gangs mm. uh, legal loggers miners and hunters as well this incident, it's gone on for five days. Um, it's actually uh, 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 drawn the attention of Brazilian icons from uh, Pele, uh, Catano Veloso, joining yeah. politicians, environmentalists, and human rights activists in urging President Jair Bolsonaro to step up the search. Now, you mentioned uh, that there was some organic material that has mm. been found yeah. and sent for forensic analysis. Uh, federal police is working on this sample of blood that they found on a suspect's boat that will be compared with genetic material from Dom Phillips himself or Bruno Pereira. Now, the judge had ordered the suspect whose boat, uh, who owns the boat, mm. a fisherman who is currently charged with illegal possession of a restricted ammunition to be held for 30 days while police investigate whether or not mm. he is involved. And this is according to the lawyer for a local indigenous group. Meanwhile, mm. state judge Jacinta Silva dos Santos said the proceedings are under seal and she could not comment on whether other audiences are planned for the fisherman who is known as Palado. His name is Ar Ar 
Amar Rildo da Costa. Mm. Now, police said that Costa was one of the last people to yeah. see these mm -hmm. two. This yeah. is why he's uh, under questioning as well after they went missing. Um, but his lawyer has said that there's, uh, there's no involvement. However, there's been incidences before of people going missing mm. and yeah. hiding bodies. And you never know what so could it happen. So it was not the first one? No, well, there's been incidences in the past because mm. It's such a vast area. Like you said, it's not like a tourist area yeah, at all. Yeah. So if somebody goes missing, will they even be found? That's yeah. to begin yeah, with, yeah. if somebody is intentionally trying to hide them. Secondly, did they run into somebody that was using these routes for yeah. something mm. not legal, mm. or perhaps they were putting their own lives in danger? So we have very few details, but there is that sample to work off. And if they can confirm that, that it belongs to one of the two that are missing, at least they can go from there. Yeah.